So today, ladies and gentlemen, on the old cooking show, round of applause, please. Today, we're back in the kitchen, I'm waving around my Harry Potter wand of lemongrass, and we are going to make salmon burgers. The thing that makes this salmon burger special, I don't know, it's just like a really tasty burger. I have to tell you, I don't really like salmon. I think that salmon is the basic bitch of all the fish. I think it's kind of like stupid, and everyone's like, salmon, but salmon is whatever. But I've learned to love it, and I think that this is a really delicious way of preparing it. We're gonna make like a little kind of paste in here that's gonna add all the flavor to the salmon. We're using some lemongrass. Lemongrass sold like this typically. And we're just gonna kind of roughly chop the rest of the lemongrass here. Oh, your Harry yeah, my Harry Potter one's gone. A little bit of garlic in there as well. Um, just smash it up. So, <sighs> garlic. You're my only friend. You're just kind of like roughly chopping everything in there because you are making a paste with this. Now, this paste is gonna flavor the salmon really well. There's five different types of salmon in Alaska. We're using king salmon today. You can use any salmon you like. I really like Alaska salmon in particular because um, it's all farmed really sustainably. I'm gonna do about a half a shallot in this guy. I think when Alaska became a state in like 1959, they wrote it into their constitution that every the, their fisheries and stuff would be farmed all sustainably. I think that Alaska salmon is just like really fresh, really delicious. Um, this is not an ad. Just a big fan of Alaska. We're also gonna put three macro lime leaves in here. You do need to finely chop these guys because they're pretty tough. You can see they're like, I mean look, oh, they're, they're tough. They just roll it up into a little, little thing. Oops, just gonna thinly slice it. They're like super fresh and limey, so it adds like a brightness to this, along with the lemongrass. They also do have a soapy flavor to them. I'm also gonna add cilantro, which a lot of people think has a soapy flavor as well. If you don't like either of those things, don't use them. I'm okay with that. To peel ginger, it's one of those really annoying, kind of like knobby root guys, you know, that's hard to peel. One of the easy ways to peel it, you can use a spoon to kind of like get in there. Ginger, this is like, has all the benefits of everything you need in it, this little, this little guy. Fresh turmeric, you'll often see turmeric sold as a powder. And if you can't find fresh turmeric, you can gladly use powdered turmeric in this. So turmeric, spelled T-U-R-M-E-R-I-C, turmeric. Some people say turmeric, tur it's like you're kind of, the R is a little bit more silent, the first R. So it's not turmeric, or tur it's turmeric, turmeric. I just say turmeric. People say it differently, it's whatever. The thing about turmeric is that the active ingredient that is so good in it is called curcumin. I think C-U-R-C-U-M-I-N. I don't know, ask Siri how to pronounce that properly. But it takes a lot of that to aid in your indigestion and anti-inflammatory things. And actually a little bit of inflammation in your body is good for you, just to bear that in mind. Too much, obviously, a bad thing. This amount of turmeric in this isn't gonna cure your whole like aches and ails and stuff, but it's gonna add a little bit of nice color to the salmon, um, which already has a beautiful color in it anyway, helping your digestion, all that stuff, okay? I'm not gonna save your life though with this, just FYI. The flavor of turmeric is definitely a really, like a peppery, bitter kind of flavor, just in case you were curious. Do you wanna eat it? Do you wanna try, try a little bite of this, Ian? Come here, just bite into that knob. <laughs> There's almost something like minty about it. You wanna bite it, Jeff? Wanna bite my knob? You took a big bite. <laughs> we are going to, again, like I said, make a little paste with this. If you don't have a food processor, that's fine. You could use a mortar and pestle. If you don't have that, just finely, finely chop everything. But we're trying to blend this all up, so. It smells so good. It's like, you can smell all that lemongrass, the garlic, the ginger, just all those like fresh kind of flavors in there. I'm gonna add a teensy bit of water into it just to help blend it a little bit more. Ginger and the lemongrass are quite stringy, so you can see that. I'm trying to like break that down a little bit. And then breaking that down, it's also gonna release a little bit more flavor because salmon cooks so quick. So making the, this paste, doing this is actually, or if you were using mortar and pestle, it's gonna release all that flavor and stuff. So that's looking good. You're using about one pound of salmon. We're gonna take the skin off. You can ask your fishmonger to take the skin off for you. If you wanna do it at home yourself, I recommend like a longer kind of blade on your knife. And you're gonna hold it with your hand and just wiggle your knife across slowly. Don't go fast, I don't want you to like cut the meat up and cut your hand. Just kind of keep it even on your board. 
and it's going to take all that off. Then we are going to just roughly chop this guy. Okay, we're gonna add two teaspoons of salt. I normally say salt to taste. I have measured out this so it's accurate in flavor for you. Love it. Mix it up in there. Take a nice little paste. See? Beautiful. This is just like ground meat that you would get with a hamburger. For those of you pescatarians, this is your answer to the hamburger. Well, that looks good. Add that. I want to chop these nuts up first, though. So I like to put cashews into here. You could use peanuts if you wanted. If you have a nut allergy, avoid the nuts completely. I like adding nuts into this because it adds like a nice kind of texture to it. I did a little bit extra. I only really need three tablespoons. This is about a half a cup's worth. But then you got your snacking nuts. All that good stuff. Peter and I are really good at this game where we throw things in each other's mouths. Mainly it's usually M&Ms. But we're gonna try it with this cashew. Oop, missed it. Oops, that was really bad. It stuck to my finger a little. Come on, you could have gotten that one. Right. <gasps> wow. You got it! Yeah! <laughs> Peter, you're gonna be such a good dad one day. Also want to chop up cilantro, about three tablespoons worth. And you can use the stems on these. All this into here. And then we're gonna add in, we're just gonna fold in at the end our cilantro and our nuts. Now the reason I don't add the nuts in earlier, because I don't want to make like a nut paste or anything with it. I want the nuts, like I said, I want texture in there. So I'm adding in the chunks of nut, just folding them in. Adding that in, we're gonna add in our nuts. We got some snack snacking nuts. Hmm. Give it a little twirly do. That's not a word. I just made that up. I don't even know what that means. We should start like our own little like encyclopedia or sorry, a dictionary of Faraday talk. Twirly do's in there. That's ready to go. We're gonna form our patties. Also, I recommend, like look how sticky this is. If you could do a little finger bowl for your hands, it'll help form the patties a little better. So I'm gonna grab a little bowl to do that with. Cold water. If you don't wanna cook that shit on your fingers. A little diply do. Tiddly bit, tiddly bit, and diply do's. So I'm gonna divide this. I'm just kinda making even patties, and then this is gonna turn into four. We're just gonna form our little patties. They hold together really nicely because all that protein, like salmon and fish in particular, has all that protein in it. And so they form and stick really nicely. And if you weren't sure about the flavoring on this, you could take um, a little patty out of it and cook it separately and taste that and then re-season. Um, but I think it tastes pretty good like this. We're gonna toast some buns in here. I'm just gonna toast them in a little bit of butter. And by butter, I mean olive oil. <laughs> Whatever you want, you can use butter, oil, doesn't matter. Just move them around, give them a nice little toast. These are brioche buns. Any bun your little heart desires, you can use it. If you believe it, you can achieve it. You can also use a gluten-free bun if you wanted to. Now we're gonna cook our little salmon. Salmon cooks pretty fast, so we don't have to wait that long. The thing about salmon is you can eat it raw. So you can just form a crust on this and then eat the rest of the way. I'm gonna cook it a little, not all the way through, but like maybe halfway through, just because you wanna seal the outer bits because if you don't seal enough, it'll kind of fall apart. The albumin, I think is what it's called, you know, that white stuff. So that's gonna help seal it and hold it together. You eat this and you're cured of all your life's ailments. You won't have any heart disease, liver failure, antioxidants you'll have more of, good fats, anti-inflammatory. This is the cure-all burger. We're gonna cook it. I'm gonna let it rest a little bit. And then we're gonna make our salad. It's just gonna be carrots, cucumber, red onion, and fish sauce, and cilantro. All right, that one's looking pretty good. That one's looking pretty good too. And now we're gonna quickly make our little salad. Okay, I'm gonna peel my carrot. We're just gonna kind of turn this around, making a little salad. Oh, it's crazy a bit. Carrot juice in the face. Yeah, the same thing with our cucumber. This one, I don't mind leaving the skin on this. It's washed and stuff, but I like the bright greenness of the skin, so I'm gonna leave it on. Boop, boop, beep, pop, 
flippity flop. <laughs> that looks pretty good. We're going to slice some of these little red chilies. Cilantro. A little bit of red onion in here. I want to be really thin, so I'm gonna use a mandolin. You're only gonna use like half of this. And that is plenty. Look at this simple, simple, simple salad. Just fish sauce, my favorite ingredient. I always have like a million jars of this in my fridge. Fish sauce is basically just anchovies and like fish and salt that have been dried out and then it turns into this. Maybe one or two tablespoons, give it a nice little light toss. And that's all you need for that. I'm gonna take this burger, pop it on there. Just gonna put a little bit of this on top of it. And here you have it, the Cure All Salmon Burger. It's got your turmeric, your omega-3s, and fish sauce. My favorite ingredient. You know what's weird is you hold a burger like this and you go and you lift it and put it in your mouth upside down. I guess some people go like this, huh? Like that. I'll do it like that. That's probably the proper way to eat it. Mmm. A little bit of the heat from the chili in there, just on the tip of your tongue. You got all that nice flavor from the salmon with the lemongrass and the ginger kind of brightening it. The turmeric is very subtle. You can't really taste it in there. Best alternative to a hamburger, because nothing can really beat a hamburger, let's be honest. <laughs> Not even this, but it's pretty damn close. For this recipe, click the link in the description below. Cook it, love it, eat it.